Hello, and welcome to the Counterman Education Center. A fun topic today. What can a bolt tell you? To the untrained eye, not much. However, if you're in the know, that bolt has a lot of secrets to tell you if you know what you're looking for. The first and most obvious things are sizes. Length and diameter are the first ones. Overall length is determined with a ruler or any sort of graduated measuring device. But diameter can be tricky. Using a bolt sizing gauge or a micrometer is your best bet. This is also an excellent opportunity to sell your customer one. So the question, is it a screw or is it a bolt? Technically speaking, a screw does not use a nut, and a bolt does. Cap screws are an excellent example of this. Does it have a flange as part of it? These bolts spread the load across a broader surface and do not utilize a washer. They are often called flange bolts. When it comes to diameter, beyond just the exterior circumference, there are really four criteria for choosing a bolt. Major diameter, minor diameter, thread angle, and pitch. In most cases today in the automotive world, we classify US or inch bolts by the diameter and then the threads per inch. An example would be quarter 20. This would be a quarter inch bolt with 20 threads per inch. On the US side, we can also tell the hardness of a particular bolt. Ever notice those little hash lines or marks on the head of the bolt? Those indicate the hardness of a bolt. No lines indicate a hardness of two. Three lines are a grade five, and six lines show a grade eight. On the metric side, they're identified by the diameter and then the pitch. An example would be 12 millimeter by 1.75, 12 millimeter being the length and 1.75 being the pitch of the threads. The hardness on a metric bolt is on the head. These hardness values are likely to be 8.8, 10.9, or 12.9. Also, the appearance of the fastener can tell us something about its intended use. Flat black is usually an oxide-coated bolt, many times found in the engine bay. Goldish color is usually cadmium-plated or yellow zinc. Both help guard against corrosion. A silvery finish is probably galvanized. Used for corrosion, but not used a lot in the automotive world. Shiny, untreated steel is either chrome or stainless steel. Get your magnet out to tell which. Other fasteners are coated with specialized coatings for appearance or special use. So you see, the bolt or fastener itself really does have a lot to say. The important thing is to understand what they are saying. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.